Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Weston John Boucher here. Now come with me on my journey to try PRP for the first time as I've had a nagging shoulder injury from playing beach volleyball for quite some time now. And I'm just at the point where I really want to try something to heal it. And if you're not familiar with PRP, it is platelet rich plasma. So it's going to be a really quick procedure actually. And it's super interesting the way it works. Dr. Maxey is going to explain a lot of it during it and you're going to see the whole process and I'll also do a follow-up video obviously as well so let's get started hey guys again welcome back to my channel before we get started make sure you click that subscribe button like share comment on this video if you've had prp before or share this video with someone who is considering getting prp done and it could really help them so one of the best and most practical ways you can support my channel though is to check out my menswear line i'm wearing right now it's called weston john boucher I design all the pieces for myself, so I assure you they go through a rigorous process of fittings and fabric selections, swatch colors and everything. Use your own special code for a discount, YouTube 15 at checkout. Now I'm wearing my SS Raw Neck um, knit sweater, which is like a knit tee. So this is my go-to going out tee. It's a way to dress up a, a, a normal tee. And then I'm wearing my new ultra soft fitted um, tapered denim jeans. These turned out incredible. They're stretchy, they're lightweight enough for summer nights. So don't feel like, you know, you can't wear pants during the summer. It's a hot day here in San Diego and I'm feeling good in these. So um, these are gonna pair perfectly with every top in my line. So check that out. Another way you can support me is to check out my Amazon shop. The link is in the description and that's gonna have everything that I've used over the last four years and presently to style my hair, groom my beard, my favorite trimmers, my favorite supplements, all that good stuff. So check that out while you're there as I do Amazon live broadcasts every month as well. So I'll see you guys on there. All right, guys, so this part of the process of PRP is drawing blood, so then it can be spun in the centrifuge, is that right? Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, basically to make it platelet-rich plasma. So when it comes out, it's actually gonna be a, a different color, correct? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, what happens is your blood separates in the tube into two distinct layers, and what we do is get all the plasma and the rich layer where all the, the platelets are sitting too. So we can extract that and leave all the blood cells in the tube. Gotcha. Very cool. <laughs> so it's probably what, like three to four vials? I'm going to take six just in case because okay. it, it depends on <laughs> how much <laughs> I'll, I'll survive, how much we can fit. So some people's joint spaces take more than others, you know, yeah. it really just depends on how yours reacts and if it likes what it's getting. One, gotcha. Two, and maybe three. Sound, maybe sound. <laughs> That's what I do. I channel my inner, inner Navy, Navy seal. seal. I feel like my life has just been a bunch of needles the last year. Like the TRT all week, blood draws for checking hormones quarterly, and then Brotox recently. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now this, just like the year of needles. So people ask me, like, what do you do? I'm like, I mostly poke people with needles. Like, that's, that's like my main thing yeah. these days. I used to hate needles and stuff. I, it was like I would pass out when I was I young at blood draws and this has actually been really good for me. I would get like, <laughs> I'd get flushes and just like get that all over cold sweat. Yeah, that's like, the feel worst like feeling. Headed. So give me about 30 minutes and then I'll have this ready when we go into the room and get y'all set up. Sounds good, I'll thanks Doc. I'll your shoulder a little bit. We'll do some range of motion. Okay. Cool. Check out's going. All right, thank you. I survived. So this is the after the centrifuge separation. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna kinda palpate around so I get a feel for where all your bones are, where the muscle attachments are. Any pain throughout here? 
A little bit there. A little bit there. Yeah, that one spot, a little bit lower. Yeah. Right there. Right there. So what we can do is we use our skin pen, so we just kind of mark spots that we find pain. I know my number one is like towards the front, but right there is a little bit. Right in here? Yeah. More right here. It's like... Oh, you're all the way down on the tendon area. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, right in there. Right there. A little bit lower. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, we're just gonna do a comprehensive approach. So I'm gonna hit all the tendons and attachments of all yeah. the muscles of your, your shoulder, essentially. So just kind of help tighten everything up, repair everything. Gotcha. And we're gonna do one through the back. So what the um, doctor was saying that it wasn't like a standard rotator cuff type thing where he's like, so it's not towards the back? Is yeah, it? it's like, more you know, so like, like, right. Yeah, and if I go like, that I feel it in. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing we can do is put your hand down, put your thumb straight down, and then resist. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pain there. Yeah. So and where then, is the pain in the front? Yeah, it's yeah, mostly it's in here, but I feel it in the there. Pinch there. Yeah. yeah. So then I'm gonna pull, pull your hand that way, and I'm gonna resist. So. Okay. Yeah. Any pain there? Uh, not at all, no. actually. Okay. Cool. So any exercises in the gym are like side lateral raises. Yeah. And then resist. The Nothing. It's not too bad on that. It's more like more yeah, out here. There. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like such a difference when you're on the, the spot. Cool. So then we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Knock it down. Now PRP can be done. Um, on various areas of the body. It's not just the shoulders, obviously. Yeah, so I mean, you can do it on any part of the body. I just did a PRP hair treatment the other day to um, help stimulate my friend's hair growth and his bald spot. I actually have a big interest on my channel about thickening the hair, so. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting to hear. Yeah, no, that's, that too. that's one of the, it's, the people who respond well to it respond really well to it, but I would say maybe 50 to 60% of the people respond well to the hair injections. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it's definitely an option, but like, yeah, low back pain, knees, hips. I did a double hip injection last week on this former athlete, so she was uh, kind of waddling out of here. All right. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of B12 in here that just kind of helps stimulate the tissues, activates the metabolism a little bit, lidocaine and dextra solution, which is sugar. Uh, that helps trigger some inflammation in the area and trick the body into thinking that there's another injury, essentially. Oh. Yeah. So the, the overarching like, concept of the PRP, though, is to get it platelet-rich because essentially that will heal it, so, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. Okay. So what we're doing first with this is we're re-triggering an injury in the area and tricking your body into thinking that it has to repair the area. Right. So that's prolotherapy. Then we're going to take your PRP and inject it into there. So we're giving all the healing factors and nutrients to the area so your body doesn't have to like bring everything to the place. It's already there and it just comes and uses all the nutrients and then repairs the tissues from there. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Is this something you have to kind of do like multiple times or is it one and done? So some people might need two to three treatments to get like the most benefit. You know, typically we like to see people back at 80 to 90 percent of their function at least, you know. Sometimes that takes two, sometimes three, sometimes it's after the first one and people are fine for years. And those are spaced out usually by a couple of weeks. Months. Yeah, oh, weeks. a couple okay. weeks. Yeah. So the healing process is about two weeks for it to complete. So okay. two weeks from now be like, is it 60% better? Is it 70, 80? And yeah. we'll kind of go from there and decide what to do. Gotcha. Injections going on in here. Ooh, icy. Icy, icy. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Not too bad, man. Nah, it should get pretty numb. Just want to make sure we make it comfortable because a PRP can really burn a lot. I know you said two weeks. Um, does that mean two weeks of no strenuous activity or? I would say three days of no strenuous activity. Oh, nice. After that, once like the pain and achiness subsides, you can kind of go at your own pace. Okay. You know, it'd be like, is this comfortable? Does it feel good? Yeah. Give it a couple days at least. For volleyball, I would be probably more than three days, no? Yeah. yeah. Since that's like the trigger. 
yeah, the specific motion, but moving with security and allowing your body to feel safe and have pain-free movement in yeah. those ways is really crucial to helping the repair process. So the video I watched on it um, on YouTube of a guy getting PRP done on his shoulder, I couldn't tell if that guy was like hating life or not. Oh, that spot you got is like definitely uh -oh. a spot. As you said, um, hating Yeah. Uh, and he was just turning his face to the side, but he looked like he was absolutely miserable, but the doctor like never acknowledged him whatsoever. Like he was just completely silent the whole time. And I'm like, I wonder if this guy's like, oh God, how much longer is this gonna be? Like he had no idea. Well, that's it. If you, if you talk to the other doctor here, she had PRP on her knee by another doctor. She was like traumatized because what yeah. they do is they just they sit like this and they just like kind of no, but I trust them. They jab and they just yeah. no, they usually don't numb either. Okay. So oh yeah. really? So this guy got that's numbed right. a lot. So I'm assuming you know that's why I was like he wasn't it wasn't like he was reacting to things happening. So I'm assuming that all the numbing they did in advance okay. worked well. Yeah, so. let's see what's saying. Are you doing uh, yeah, I imagine the thumbnail for my video would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Man passes out. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I, I got a little like lightheaded, I'll be honest. <laughs> I was feeling good. I was channeling my imaginary inner Navy SEAL. I'm, I'm not a Navy SEAL, but I like to think about what they go through so that I can go through. I don't know if any of you guys out here, sometimes you get uh, out there getting the uh, injections or blood draws and you get lightheaded and you just get that feeling that just overwhelms you and you start sweating everywhere you feel like oh god the, the room is looking different no burning so far though oh uh, no feels good. good yeah that's why we numb it up if we didn't numb it up it would definitely be like a little stingy achy you would oh, not okay. you would not be enjoying yourself <laughs> pain i'm not really like i'll always take pain over over like nausea or Mm -hmm. like that, so. Yeah, I'm happy I drew six tubes because just in those two sites we got Quite a bit. two full syringes, yeah. Yeah, so when I would tell people that like, oh, I hate needles and stuff like that, they're like, yeah, but you have so many tattoos. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. <laughs> Which is funny because I have like piercings and I'm okay with needles now, but I would never get a tattoo. I'm like, a thousand uh -huh. pokes? Mm -hmm. An hour? What? No, thank you. It's weird though because the sensation is just so different. Yeah. To me, tattoos are so painful. Yeah. You have, have some on my feet, yeah. yeah. I feel lightheaded again, though. All right, got through it. <laughs> we had to do a little bit of intermission because I just needed to have some water. I started sweating so much. It's just... Not because it hurts, though. No, actually, the pain level is very low, in my opinion, from Thank the, the you, past Max experiences. A. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Max A is the best. I mean, even when he drew my blood, it's like I didn't even notice. So. You know, do your research and find someone good. And if you're in San Diego, come to I Thrive because I can speak from first-hand experience. I feel like I'm in such good hands. He just passed out because he's bad with needles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not bad with needles. I mean, you guys know I self-inject TRT, so I'm better. It's it's like you said, it's a visceral response. Yeah. Like you could be totally good upstairs, you know, but it can just overtake you. So. Yeah, body's well, just trying to protect you. Yeah. Well, thanks well, for coming, I guess. Thanks for All right, guys, so the PRP is done. Now, if I didn't have that little intermission of getting lightheaded and sweating like crazy, it probably would have been 15 minutes overall for the whole procedure, which is crazy. Now, everyone's obviously different if they have an area of their body where they need a lot more injections and a little bit more time. Again, the pain was very low. Like, I, I swear, it was not bad at all. But they did numb me, so it's important you get numbed. I have three days to where I'm not gonna do anything rigorous with my shoulder, right? After that point, I can kind of just gauge it. I'll have a follow-up with him and go from there. But uh, hopefully, the platelet-rich plasma will will heal those areas of my body where those little micro tears and things are going on. And maybe I'll get back to playing volleyball and doing shoulder press again. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what the results are over time. So here we are three and a half weeks later. I wanted to do a follow up real quick. So you guys knew that I gave it some time before I had any placebo effects. But I'm telling you, I feel at least 85% better, if not high 90s at times my shoulder range of motion like this would hurt so bad this would give me instant pain it would cause that impingement feeling you know 
I'm able to spike really hard at volleyball, and then the next day, normally I would have been just in so much pain. I have no issues with that. And the other dead giveaway that I feel like there's definitely not placebo is that when I do anything that's um, in incline press movement or uh, flies like out to the side or a military press even, which I'm trying not to do because I just feel like it's not the best thing ergonomically speaking, I'm back at pushing up more weight again. Like I'm not all the way back because I haven't really trained my muscles that way, but it is a massive difference. I, I just am so grateful I did it. And so, yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm three and a half weeks in and hopefully it's just going to get better and better. But so far, so good. Pretty amazing that we have this technology and this procedure exists as an alternative to surgery, right? Like surgery is the last option. So I can't speak for everyone with PRP, but from my experience so far, whew, it works great. <laughs> so this is pretty much the conclusion for right now for the PRP. So look into it, see if there's someone in your area, but again, check out iThrive if you can. iThrive MD here in San Diego, they took great care of me. And of course, again, the most practical way to support my channel is to check out my menswear line, Weston John Boucher. Use your code YouTube15 at checkout. I have a ton of stuff dropping now and through the rest of the year. And check out my Amazon shop as well for all my favorite products. As you guys know, Prime Day is coming up on July 12th and 13th for 2022. And I'm going to be doing broadcasts on Amazon Live and talking about all the best Prime deals that you guys will love from products I love. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. Thanks for being here.